Lessons learned from non-compliance with call regs. This is own vessel, a fully laden VLCC. It was proceeding on heading 063 degree, with a speed of 12.7 knots. And this is other vessel, a bulk carrier, it was on our port quarter, with a heading 077 degree, and a speed of 13.3 knots. How do you understand this situation? It was a slightly doubtful as to whether this was a Rule 13 situation, in which bulk carrier was overtaking us, or a crossing situation as per Rules 15 and 16, in which she was the giveaway vessel, and we were the stand-on vessel as per Rule 17. Given the relative aspects of the vessel, and good seamanship would dictate that it was an overtaking situation. Either way, we were the stand-on vessel, and bulk carrier was supposed to take avoiding action. But, no avoiding action was observed from bulk carrier. And with a CPA of 0 0.2 miles, TCPA of 30 minutes, we decided to contact her on VHF to ask for her intentions. She replied that, she intended to maintain course, and speed. Therefore, we decided to take our own actions, and altered course 30 degrees to starboard, in order to maintain a safe distance of at least 1.5 miles. We let her overtake us at a safe distance. We were in the open ocean. We considered this the safest action, given the complete ignorance of the other vessel in judging the situation. Lessons learned We must remain vigilant. Never trust the giveaway vessel, even in the open ocean. Whenever it becomes clear that no actions are being taken on the other vessel, challenge her and carefully consider your own options. Always in accordance with call regs. Remember that rules 13c and 14c explicitly state that when you are in doubt, you have to consider the position as an overtaking situation, and act accordingly. If it becomes clear that another vessel is not complying with call regs, consider your own options to avoid danger.